booting. Book learning alone is not enough to cultivate intelligence. All those scholars in the academia are prime examples. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! Wow. Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. But anyway, is there like a general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> Expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting Fisherman's Toast to drop out. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure, but don't mind me, of course. <sighs> What'll it be today? The strongest fighter? Pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone... It would be the Dark Knight. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it. Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe... Mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little... You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean... No. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. So, this girl, what's her- Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. I, I do not- Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, 
Doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mar Javari? Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Mondstadt's famous... Uh... <clears throat> the strong... That would be Gene, obviously! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Jean is so... And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Donna. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree ex It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Patton was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got- Let's go see what Jean says! Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. Don't worry, though. Pima. What would you like? Fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any. Oh, well, that sucks. Paima was hoping he would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has. Which reminds me. Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city. Although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After he beats the Abyss Order, he'll climb up that ranking table faster than he climbs up all those cliffs! Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do! <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there.
fine. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. Hey, look! There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy wall. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monstad be bond. Klee be do- Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. And Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helped... Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy! I heard it from Amber. But wait, no! There's no time for... I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The... the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's... gone. Did you say buried treasure? Exactly what Paimon was thinking! Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it! Yay! Thanks, you guys! Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it, to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight! Let's go! Beto seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big brother to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Don't let any of it roll away now. This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Blade. You're in for a little shock. Come a little. I can't see. Ha! 
urine for... <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> One with the forest. Let's nip that in the butt. Wind blade. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. Closer. In shroud. Yeah. <laughs> Blitz. Try not to enjoy this too much. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Wind blade. One with the forest. There's now a huge empty hole in the ground. It's an abyss mage! Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. What's that in his hand? <gasps> My treasure! What? Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! What's an abyss mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> Urine for a little shock. And sh ah! I'll uproot you. Closer. <laughs> With the wind! Yep. Huh? 
For a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. That's gonna hurt in the morning. See? Careful, Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. for a little shock. Surrender and I'll be gentle. Let's light it up! Go on in! In shroud! One with the farce! <laughs> Come a little closer. Disappear! In shroud! Ha! I'll uproot you! Give it back. stole and it's up to me to get it back <laughs> don't worry Klee is a big girl come on mr. honorary knight let's go Urine for a little shock.
You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. One with the forest. Cha, hoom. Cha, cha, cha. In shroud. Let's nip that in the butt. Huh? Everybody, stand back. Come a little closer. <laughs> jumpy, jumpy, go! Yeah! Huh? Boo! Boo! Yeah! <laughs> Closer. Let's spark things up a little. I'll uproot you. Let's light it up. I'm going in. Jumpy jump go. See? <laughs> You're in for a little shot. <laughs> Come a little closer.
blade. Huh. One with the forest. Can't see. Let's nip that in the bud. You're here too? I... I turned myself in. Huh? I... my... my balm. I... I... I broke the rules. I'll never... Klee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? 
Why is that? But... But Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the... What? What? I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To... So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Mr. Honorary Knight, you've got to come too! whoop de doo It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I... um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum. Um, when you say tree, <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh, yeah, they're gonna. Yeesh, if Jane was listening to this, Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Hello. May the Animal Archon protect you. I'll be more cute next time. I'll complete a big heroic adventure all- I've heard that the Adventures Guild has its own set of rules. I won't- Yeesh! If Cyrus was listening, he would be begging Jane to extend- Today's no good for going out. Hmm. Did I say that yesterday as well? You've been a naughty boy, 